Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, a cutesy little pixel art game about, well, you can probably guess, I won't patronize you. And it happens to have 37 achievements. Our motivation for committing tax evasion, you might ask? I'll show you. You owe a ton of property tax for your greenhouse. You have until like yesterday to pay it. Failure to pay will give Mayor Onion the deed to your house. Total owed $140,000. And 753. Plus 50% interest. Sincerely, the government. Hmm. That's a lot of money. Let's just rip it up. Achievement number one. Oi, turnip boy. You really screwed yourself. This guy does not have a thought in his head, good lord. What do you mean, what? You committed tax evasion. What? Yes, tax evasion is a real thing. Anyways, you owe me a lot of money, and you obviously have none. So, consider yourself my personal assistant. First, head over to the bustling barn through Lair Lane. I'm trying to set up a town hall there, but there's a bunch of animals I need someone to take care of. Does he want me to kill the animals? Oh my god. Bring me back a bag of fertilizer as proof or you'll be sleeping with the rotten. God, that's kind of menacing. After receiving that kind of menacing comment from Mayor Onion, I set about exploring the town. First thing first, I stole a watering can from a blind old lemon. A watering can. Use this to grow plants. Okay. I guess I just stole it from this dude. Hello, chap. Have you seen me watering can? No, I have not. Um... My hours weren't they used to be, I haven't seen it for days. That water can means so much to me. I really hope no one stole it, it's the only thing I have left from the old lady. Uh, I haven't seen it. Then after that, I had to do some chore for this stupid ass blueberry. Say, could you water this plant for me? Okay, I guess. I ran out of water, I want to give the special flower to that special strawberry. Yeah, sure thing, man. Oh, not like that. After watering his flower, I delivered it to the strawberry like a good little errand boy. Ooh, exclamation marks, but I don't feel the same. I'm sorry. Man, I just cannot catch a break. It's not from you. Oh, thank the mushroom. <laughs> what is this guy's problem? This game is pretty accurate of my life. That's, uh, it's kind of messed up. But right after that brutal rejection, I received a letter that was the real problem. You think you can take this letter over to her for me? Dear Flores, thank you for the pretty flower. Would you like to go on a date? Someday we can even get married and pay our taxes together. Problem. You see that? Right there? Taxes. Rip it up. Get it out of here. Yeah. Goodbye. But I managed to save the day and got myself another achievement in the process. Achievement number two. Heartless. You tore up a love letter. Don't care. I'm moving on. So, anywho, I started making my way up the map. I'm on a mission. Watch out for the snails. They're vegetarian. And like the kind, thoughtful person I am, I listen to yet another Blueberry Struggles. Bro, you ain't gonna believe this. Jerry has been crashing at my place for a week. And he hasn't paid a cent of rent. We're on good terms, bro. But I don't speak much snail. I don't really know what to do about it, bro. He's got a squatter. What if I, like... Can I water him to death or something? I wanna, I wanna, how do I kill the slime? Or not the slime. No, I won't kill, okay. Maybe that's a little bit, maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Don't worry, I'll deal with Jerry later. Then, I just kept heading on, met some weird lady who was yapping about keeping her kid under a stool or something, and like, she lost him. Whatever, doesn't even matter, I couldn't help her right now. I just kept chugging along. I tore up another poster for achievement number three. A dollar, are you kidding me? I think I'm probably worth more than that. We're gonna rip that up too. Oh, you ripped up a wanted poster. <laughs> Achievement number three. And then a little bit further on, I met Annie, who shared some very useful information with me. Hi, Eternit boy. I've been traveling around the farmland and exploring the forests around it, and I found something cool. What did you find, avocado? Up ahead is a rare Plantiosordicus. If you have a second, check it out. Okay. So, if the avocado if the, what do you call it? The core is exposed. Didn't that mean she was like brutally chopped in half? Wouldn't that be kind of painful? I don't know. I think it probably would be. Anyways, I kept heading up, found a little patch where I could water, and when I did, up popped the soil sword. So I rampaged my way back over to Jerry, and um, yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> did you kill Jerry? Yeah, I did. Wait, bro, is there some money over there? Oh my God, you're right. Right, money. <laughs> no. <laughs> what have I done? Do I? Should I just leave? Like, bro, why did you kill Jerry? He was defenseless. Why? Oh wait, he had his rent money. Cool beans, haha. <laughs> so he literally did. I thought he was like, okay, <laughs> bro. Uh, since he's all uh, dead, take this. Take his check for the remainder. I need that cash. Paid to the order of Jerry Snail. One dollar and twenty-five. 
Ooh, taxes. That kind of goes against my morals. Rip it up, yeah. See you, buddy. You brutally murdered Jerry and ripped up his rent. A dollar twenty-five in rent. God damn. Gotta find me a place like that. My final mission on this side of the map, for now, don't forget about this trap door, some kind of crazy stuff happens down there later, was to find this dude some spray paint. Couldn't do it yet, but I wasn't gonna forget about it, man. I'll come back for you, okay? What's up, dude? Got any spray paint? I'm itching to vandalize public property, you feel? Then I just wander back to town and spend a minute trying to figure out where I was going. Oh yeah, Lair Lane. I went the totally wrong direction. Okay, that's nice. Oh wait, but I couldn't get through because I didn't have a sword. No, I made the right I, I made the right call. And when I finally did, I broke through the leaves and headed west. If you don't remember why we're heading this way, my business over here was to find a barn and clear out some pesky animals so that we could use it as a town hall. I'm not I'm not super happy to be doing this work for the onion guy, but I, I do want my house back. On my way to find the barn, I found quite a few characters, like this dude who insulted me and said I needed a haircut. You need a haircut desperately. Bro, he's jealous because I have hair. Oh, but who? The great Edgar, best art barber in all of Veggieville. What, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to right now? A famous clan of mine wants me, the great Edgar, to dye their hair, but alas, I do not have the dye to do it. Obviously, this client is higher priority than your dumb hair. I urge you to come back another day. Bro, I didn't even want a haircut until you suggested it. Don't like that guy. Can I stab him? Then I met some dude who was suffering from a troubling problem. The real estate agent sold me the studio apartment. It's smaller than most and more expensive. I'm hoping the alleyway scenery pumps me full of creative juices. <laughs> Bro, definitely got scammed. And right after, the causer of the problem. <laughs> How about this guy? Sigh. Oh, hi there. Are you looking to purchase some real estate? Oh, turn it, boy. I'm sorry about that. I hope you get your greenhouse back soon. I've been so busy lately. Mayor Onion has been trying to raise the property tax. What? It's been really hard to find new clients. So he's the reason. I have to pay taxes so much. Trust me, you don't want to go down this alleyway. There's some si shady stuff down there. Trust me, boyo. What do you- Who does this guy think he is? He's calling me boyo. Can this guy sell me some food? Welcome to Way Sandwich, home of the tier 3 sub. Can I take your order? Tier 3 sub? You guys should tier 3 sub to me. Right now. Just kidding. Oh, you don't want anything? Figures. Business has just been really slow. I wish I could get some famous to eat our subs on, say, a lot- live stream or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I already mentioned it, but I streamed this whole thing. So if you are enjoying this video so far, I know we're only seven minutes in, consider subscribing with the notifications on, because you get a little ding every time I go live, and streaming these games in front of an audience makes it so much more fun to record, so we'll probably be able to get more videos up. Only if you're enjoying the video though, no pressure. Anyways, shameless plugs aside, my next mission, I guess, was to try to find like a famous streamer or something. I don't know. Not really my top priority. I just want to find the damn barn, dude. And to do that, I just kept heading up. What is this? What is the a receipt? Se oh my, oh my, oh my God! Sixteen dollars for the sandwich, thirteen bucks for the pickles, three dollars handling fee, and four dollars and eleven cents sales tax. And he didn't tip. Oh my God! Oh my God! For sure, Mayor Lewis esque. Rip it up, yeah, you're right. You ripped up the receipt in the trash. Too easy, baby. It's too easy. Oh my god, there's so many workers, so many employees. All right, let's go kill some animals, eh? After that, I tore up one more tax-related document, an income reporting form from a construction worker, and then headed into the barn. And met up with... Slay Queen 32 Who was, conveniently enough for that sandwich guy, the streamer he was looking for. Access is exclusive to my true fans. You can be tier 3 subs. Wouldn't be fair to lay you in. Freak you, man. I'm trying to solve your problem. Be sure to like and... Okay. True! Be sure to like and subscribe. That's so real. She was being bothered by the pigs in the barn too and couldn't stream. I'd fix that later. Just please hold Slay Queen. I ran back over the sandwich guy who gave me a tier three sub. Goofy uh, pun. Thought I'd mention it. Hey buddy, I got I got great news. I got a I got a a big streamer. Oh, it's you again. Wait, Slay Queen thirty two wants a tier three sub. <laughs> I know, man. Can you believe it? <laughs> Wahoo, I found a tier 3 sub. And when I gave it to her, she gave me an autographed photograph. Thanks for the tier 3 sub, turnip boy. Be sure to pay your taxes next time, silly. XOXO, Slay Queen 32. Freak that. I don't want an autograph from a from a shill. Achievement 8, though. Very nice. This let me open up the barn, okay, though, okay, so yeah, I uh, wandered around. Found another unacceptable did, book. Oh my god. 
not reading that. In addition to these boots I found a little bit earlier that when I watered one of the bombs, I could kick them into walls and open stuff up, which let me solve a couple of puzzles. The rooms eventually led into a bit of combat, but I killed the pig and the three chickens easily and dodged the snails, and after a quick chat with a guy who was trapped in the barn, Dot, dot, dot. I've been stuck here for three days. No food, no water, no coffee breaks. I encountered my first boss. It was way closer than it should have been. He was like, he's kind of next ginormous. level no, easy. Okay. <laughs> ah. Oh, trick shot, but I'm one HP. Oh my God. Okay, that was a, that was a challenging boss fight. For my troubles though, I got myself a light fruit, which gave me an extra heart, and the fertilizer that Mayor Onion wanted. It's too easy, baby. Before I could go begrudgingly deliver the fertilizer to Mayor Onion, I did a couple of other things. This dude wanted me to grab his wood. Excuse me? And on my way to do that, Slay Queen 32 gave me the first of many hats I was gonna need for 100%. Thank you, peace and quiet. Turnip boy, you did this, thank you. She also gave me a new name. Nice, I, I guess we take those. For your efforts, I crown you as... Okay, okay. I obtained my first hat. Okie dokie. Heads up, you can view and equip all your hats in the pause menu. I'll take a king. I'll, I'll take a crown. I'm a king. Anywho, I grabbed... Hmm. Whatever, I'm gonna say it anyways. I grabbed this dude's wood for him, which is apparently illegal, which is weird because there's lots of it all over the place. And for my troubles, he gave me a second hat, a hard hat. Wow, I got a hard hat. Amazing. Just then I dropped off the hat. fertilizer, okay. got a hat cool. from my mailbox. I'm glad those animals are out of the picture. This fertilizer will come in handy too. All right, so your next task as my assistant is to go get me a four-pronged spear. In ancient times, it was known as a fork. Assistants don't ask questions. One of the grapevines is that there's one in Forsaken Farmhouse that's supposedly, supposedly south from here. I've heard horror stories about a bunch of moldy sweets in that place. You're in no place to complain. Go get me my fork. True, $142,000 owed is kind of crazy. Seems easy enough. But before I did that, I ran back and tore this up for one more achievement before starting to explore the new area I'd unlocked. So there's lots of there's lots of funny looking characters down here. We like to learn new dances and post them to flip flop. Sometimes I will even do karaoke. Hi there, I'm a teacher from a nearby patch. Nice to meet you. I would love to stop to talk, but I have to attend my class. We're on a field trip right now. This place is pretty cool. There's an interesting cave. I want to have the kids check out later. I'm gonna check it out first. Holly's phone while we were recording for flip flop and it fell off the cliff. This is the worst day ever. I dropped my phone down the cliff. This is the worst game I've ever played. All times when dog will cease to exist when the game is beaten. Whatever that means. Well, I kind of want to go in here. Why? How do you do there, adventurer? I'm doing pretty darn fine myself, if you ask me. Just here watching these lovely snails. I'm the local wa snail watcher, as you must know, of course. Of course I know. These are an endangered species. Us veggies and fruits gotta make sure we don't destroy their ecosystem. We should be coexisting. Don't be mean to the game. It was being mean to me. Ow. I'm getting rolled, good lord. I suck. 12.3% tax. I feel like that's kind of shameless. I feel like that's a little bit high. I feel like it should be closer to maybe 5%. Maybe 7. We're tearing that up. Betcha 20 bucks a JoJo reference is coming. I don't know if I could tell if it was a JoJo reference. If there was one, to be honest. But the view from that deck would be amazing. Too bad the stairs are broken. Maybe we could use a stool to get up there. <gasps> Wait, guys, what about that stool from the guy? Back at the forest. Should I run all the way back there and check? So, like a dumbass and getting a little bit ahead of myself, I ran all the way to the top and then all the way back down when I realized I needed to open the trash can first. A lot of snails are actually invasive. The lost care. Oh, that was a waste of time. Got it done in the end though. And the mother and daughter were finally reunited. Can't get away this time if he's on my head. So true. Got myself a stool. I'm such a helpful little turnip. I am helpful in every regard except paying my taxes. I also found a JoJo reference. I finally anime. remember what that is. I'm just, I'm such a hardcore anime fan. I know, I know. After admiring that subtle, subtle JoJo nod, I headed into the Forsaken Farmhouse. Very scary, very, very scary. Wait, let's check out the view on the deck first. Hmm. It's pretty similar. Now that I checked if that guy was lying about the view. He kind of was. It was a pretty mediocre view, I'm not going to lie. I started fighting my way through a couple of hordes of rotten food. And after getting through them, I found some sort of survival camp. And when I came in, the guards were rightfully pretty mad at me for destroying their defenses. <laughs> that door took two years to fortify cadet. How could a rookie like you blow it up? However, I also found a mission board and, and, and to pay it back to the community that I've wronged. I decided to start chipping away at those. I need to find another missing kid. 
A second one, really? <laughs> These pieces of food be irresponsible as hell. Fix a generator so they'd have power. Actually, I don't even think I need to fix it. I think I literally just need to turn it on. Seems easy enough. And find some medical supplies for this baddie nurse. That wasn't everything in this camp though. They also had a prison containing this very badass mobster who apparently somehow had beef with my family? Whatever, probably not important. Psst, you there? Oh my God, this guy's scary. Yeah, you, turn a pit. Don't be alarmed. I too can hold weapons with no hands. There, who was mentioning, do we even have hands? No, we don't need hands to hold weapons. That's how I know you have mafia blood. That's true, I do have mafia blood. You got the right guy, that's correct. Hey, are you related to Don Turnipcino? <laughs> if you are, you're lucky I'm in this jar. If you weren't, you'd be sleeping with the rotten. What, does he want me to be a mobster or not be a mobster? I'm so lost. I'm back, welcome back. That mobster found this time to step on our turf. Who do they think they are? Holding their means in that stupid greenhouse? It's not my green. Okay, this guy's just kind of aggro for no reason. Let's just, you just stay in there, okay, guy? But before I could even go exploring, I stepped like two feet outside of the base and found what I needed for the nurse. I didn't mention it, but I'd already found the other things I needed. Medicine, wahoo. Now I can go to the nurse. Here you go, buddy. Darling, like, come and see me if you need some healing. Winky smile, oh my God, she does want me, Never mind. Holy smokes. She need me for real. Now that I knew what I needed to work towards from that quest board, I continued to explore to the right, eventually finding a pair of gloves to let me move these melon blocks I'd seen a couple of times. The description also asked a very important question that I'm not gonna lie, had been on my mind. Move these, use these to push watermelons. Wait, do you have hands? <laughs> Always going back to the hands, bro. With the new gloves, I could get to a few new places. So I tore up another document and, oh yeah, found the baby in that room too. The President of the United States of America? You were drafted for 30 years. Oh my god. Let's tear that up. My hatred of taxes outweighs my protective instincts for children. Oh, it's the lost cherry baby. Carly's looking for you. Anyways, I delivered the baby back to her sister, tore up another document, and ran into the second boss. With toast on its back for some reason. Poor guy. Oh, I'm two hit points. That's great. Who the freak is this? Rotten cat apple has buttered... To okay. Wait, this is like actually bad. I think I might die. After two relatively embarrassing deaths, I'm not gonna lie, I thought I would literally die zero times this run. I thought the combat was gonna be trivial. To be honest, no cope, it was, but the controls were just kind of trash, okay? But no, I beat it. I beat it in the end. I did beat it. Another nifty heart. The lost cat apple. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Why am I killing this cat again? Big machine goes burr. Spray paint. Oh, I can spray paint for that dude. Finally, let's go. Nice. Nice. For fun? Okay. Thank you. Hey, turnip boy. It's nice studying this place, but I'm gonna take my notes to my research lab in a bit. Side note, do you see the pickled gang in the idle icebox? They're a notorious gang around these parts. I'm surprised they haven't enlisted anyone to help them break out yet. Please don't help them, turnip boy. I should help them. Thoughts? Then I talked to the chocolate bar dude who was back at the camp and he finally gave me the goddamn fork for the mayor. A fork, wow. I have to give that to the freaking onion, bro. And now that I had it, I wasted absolutely no time in bringing it straight to the mayor, who, with not even a thank you, told me to go find some goop. Anyways, Annie has been telling me about this goop with strange properties over in the Forgotten Forest. I want it. So after getting distracted delivering the spray paint I'd found to the chill ass dude on the far right side of the map, gave me life or as a reward. Take notes, Mayor Onion. Thanks, dude. Take this. Come back later if you want to see my work. I gotta get in the zone. A heart fruit. Wow. I was hoping I'd get an achievement, but that works too. Then headed back over to the alley where I'd grabbed some dude's wood a while ago. Did another puzzle and managed to get another life root. What do I gain from doing this? Oh, a life root, wow. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this, but I've actually been hiding something from you guys. I am helping that guy escape from prison. <laughs> and I'm actually in this alley to grab a hammer for them. Get freaked avocado lady, massive L. Hey man, can you give me a hammer per chance? You helping the pickle gang break out? Dang, you seem a bit young for this, but hey, I don't make the rules. Just slide this through the top of their jar and they can handle it from there. Should help the pickle gang make their great escape. And after delivering the hammer, I was not disappointed as they handed me a brand spanking new fedora. Thanks, turnip. Happy to be here. Try this on. Your father used to wear one back in the day. Every good ma mafioso needs to look the part. Do I get a badass hat? Oh my god. It was all worth it. Then I just ran around for a little bit, and when I came back, they had managed to escape and left a little, a little life roof for me since they're, since they're just nice guys. Shout out. I don't know why the freaking Annie Avocado, that's stupid, I just realized it's alliteration, was hating on him. Then, I enjoyed this nice little copy pasta. If you know, you know. Just, just, just do this little sped up version, because he waffled for straight up probably like two minutes. Then, two chatters I'm pretty sure unintentionally trolled me into thinking that they had found a way to get that phone the kid had lost earlier. 
truly unbelievable. How do I get to that? How do I get to that cell phone? They need to do their flip flops, bro. The other side, the grass on the top. I'm confused. I don't know what you're saying. The other side, like down here. I'm just gonna go into the forest. We'll get the cell phone later. Oh wait, over here? This? No. Go up, no left. Up, go down. I'm so, I'm just gonna stand still <laughs> for like 10 seconds. And then the stream delay will have caught up. For the forest, you will find the path. And okay, that's what I thought. That is what I was initially going to do. Oh, I see. Thank you. Wait, what? What, trolled? Am I getting goofed? Am I getting pranked? Well, <laughs> Oh well, okay. I really thought it was there. <laughs> in reality, the real way to find that phone was to just go to the forest where I needed to go to anyways. So after navigating through a couple of monsters, I made it to a nice little clearing where a house was, in addition to this extremely slanderous poster. Two dollars! We're up good, baby. We're actually wanted men, we are. I got an achievement from it though, so it's a medium win, I guess. Next, I met with Annie. She wanted me to figure out where I came from because I don't know if you've noticed, but we're like talking vegetables <laughs> it's a fair question i feel like a little bit of navigation later i was introduced Bro, to a is, new is, puzzle like, mechanic portals, portals where if i watered one spot a portal would appear then if i watered another one a different color would appear and i could go through it it was pretty cool and i could also send like items through it like the bombs and the melons which was definitely gonna be useful for puzzles in the future a little bit of struggling later i ran into this kind of weird deer and found a mural with a mushroom definitely a mushroom not super sure how I actually thought it was a mushroom at the time. Oh well, the lore gets like very obvious later if you haven't caught on yet. Now that I had this little mural, I headed on back to Annie for a little bit of exposition on what the hell was going on. You got it. Great work, my trusty field research assistant. Hmm, this is very intriguing. I've known about the legend of the mushroom giants. Seemed kind of hocus po- <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. It seemed kind of hocus pocus at first, but I gather that they've been a part of our history for a very long time. I'm gonna need more information before I jump to conclusions though, and that's where you come in. Take this key and head south. I heard there's an ancient turnip patch down that way that I haven't been able to find. See what you can gather from the locals there if you can find it. There's a second face on Annie. Oh yeah, I see it. The avocado. Oh my god. So the avocado is just living in constant agony because he was cut in half. That's kind of morbid, don't you think? But why mushrooms? I don't know. Why real fruit? Why am I a turnip? Oh, well, you gave me the key. Lazy game developers can't be bothered to change the damn sprite. Head down south? Sure thing, I will do that. It was a relatively untreacherous journey. A couple of puzzles, but it got a little bit weird when we reached a parsnip patch. Because we found just a normal-ass parsnip. No face? No talking? No sentience? <laughs> kind of odd. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Kinda of scary. But we didn't have too much time to linger because when I kept on walking, Whoa. I found the game's next boss. Bro, I didn't kill Bambi. That was Bambi's child. This is Bambi. Oh, I scared him off. Nice. It was like shockingly easy. Barely even worth a mention, to be honest. My reward from the boss was a potted portal, which let me create portals wherever I wanted to. Don't need one of the little platforms where I have the water on. Portal. A potted petted. Oh my. A potted petal portal. A potted petal. A potted petal portal. A potted petal portal. A, po <coughs> a potted petal portal. A potted petal. A potted pedal portal, a potted pedal portal, a potted pedal portal. I actually can't, oh my god. No. This was gonna let me go a direction that I couldn't go before. And after an embarrassingly long amount of time where I tried to figure out how to use the potted portal. What do I do? Oh wait, that's literally in my range. For, okay, for some reason I was thinking I'd have to water that one. But no, okay, yeah, that's obvious. Guys, I didn't need help. I'm actually, I'm actually on the smarter end of things. I got it eventually and crossed the fence to find the goop. But before I could go straight for the goop, the path looped back around to Annie's house. I showed her the disturbingly unalive parsnip, which she seemed relatively concerned about. I'm, I'm trying to think of like a human equivalent, but I think it would be super morbid. So I'm just gonna stop that analogy right there. <laughs> oh mush, I don't understand. It's like you, but not aware. I'm so sorry, turnip boy. These adventures became a little bit more morbid than I anticipated. We really need to get to the bottom of this. We need to see how this all connects. Here's my last key. Take it and go west. I feel our answers will lie there. All right, we need to go west. Cool. Now that I had the key, I could finally go left from Annie's house and along my way, I was finding some pretty disturbing stuff for like a cutesy little parsnip game. <laughs> oh, this guy looks so sad. Hi, man. What? Where? What am I? Oh my god, this game's getting kind of dark. Jesus. <laughs> There's like drug addictions in plants. What? I think I fell. I crawled out of that goop, but I know nothing else. He's kind of cute, but I feel bad for him. He looks tired. He looks he looks very tired. It gets darker. I'm not joking. Also, you thought the deer was the boss? 
It was not. It was a little bit of misdirection. Those who were paying attention would notice that there was no boss bar. This is the actual boss. He was also really easy. <laughs> and Ow. with a few trick shots. Trick shot! And if we do that, then we hit him again. Oh my god. It's too easy. I killed the god. Is that a deer? It was a deer. It's dead now. Because of me. I managed to take him down and stag myself some goop. He's very happy looking. Very nice. Green goop. I feel kind of strange touching this. Why does Mary Onion want it? He's gonna create like a zombie army or something. I got back to Annie. She hated on me a little bit. I guess I'll talk to this chick one more time. Oh, turn point, you're glowing. Not in the beautiful way, more in the concerning way. <laughs> but I also learned a couple of interesting things about the goop. She also gave me this, I'm not gonna lie, kind of garbage hat. I'm not gonna be wearing this. The researcher now. That's the worst hat I've received so far. I will not be wearing that. I am de-equipping it as soon as I can. Give me my fedora back. Oh yeah, I also grabbed the phone back in the forest. Gave it back to this dude so we can keep making his flip-flops. Pained me a little bit, I can't lie, as a, as a die-hard YouTube enjoyer. However, that was the only good deed I did for that kid today, because I tore up his petition one signature away from being passed. Should I just tear it up? I'll tear it up. I'm not reading that. <sighs> You destroyed Flip Flop's last chance. <laughs> Wait, I'm evil. Wait, guys, am I a bad person? We take the achievement, baby. I delivered the goop and once again, Maronion wasted no time and immediately sent me out to find a super advanced object, which turned out to be a laser pointer. Ah, yes, it's all coming together. FYI, glowing isn't covered by your health insurance. It's weird though, it feels like you're creating life around you. Next, we need a contraption that your pea-sized brain couldn't comprehend. It's a machine that shoots a red laser. It's some high-tech stuff. It's called a laser pointer for short. There's a strange hatch in Weapon Woods. I feel like you could find one in there. Sent the IRS to investigate. Hopefully those dinguses come up, came up with a solution as how to get in. Okay, which way does it want me to go? Hyper advanced indeed. The quest for the laser pointer actually sent me back the way I originally went to snag my sword, to that little bunker thing. I said to remember this bunker and that something interesting was going to happen. I hope you guys listened. I didn't get straight to getting down that bunker though because I checked out the graffiti artist. Graffiti guy. Thanks again, dude. And his work is pretty solid. It's not bad. Chat kind of vibed with it. Wow. What do you guys think? What, what do you rate this? What's your rating? I give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's not per- it's not- it's not per- it's not. It's not perfect. It is not perfect. 10 out of 10, 8.5, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7.962, 7, 11, 8.3, 9.9. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. I'm sure he'd take that. I'm sure he'd accept that. That'd be a, re a reasonable-ish answer. But there was no really point in me rushing to go down the bunker anyways, because I couldn't get into it. Okay, the reason I couldn't get into yard? it is because I needed a junkyard? shovel for some reason to like pry it open or something with my non-existent hands, of course. So I need to head back to the main town and finally go up to this creepy looking gate thingy. There I met a medium mangled, majorly mangled potato, and he wanted my help to grave rob some rich people. <laughs> hmm. Eh, why draw the line of tax evasion? Let's just do it. The graveyard wasn't all too difficult. There are a couple of poorly done riddles by this goofy ass pumpkin. Go to where the trees rot or you'll return to the bot. Bottom, like you'll leave. It's a riddle, okay? He's trying his best. I also died a couple of times because these ghosts just hit you, and they're not giving you invincibility frames, so you're just locked in a corner getting stun locked and comboed. I got a little bit mad. I literally pressed C. Wait, that's not the attack button. Never mind, that's my bad. I also found this, like, really weird thing with, like, pictures of real people on it. This game is just getting kind of strange. Hey, Mom and Dad, I don't know why I'm writing to you while you're six feet under. I just wanted to say I'll be leaving the- Thank you for leaving the front line, and it's a great place to raise the kids. Honestly, couldn't you have paid off that debt before you passed? The taxes on this farmhouse are absolutely insane. On top of that, it seems like you guys took out a second mortgage. Well, at least you're living rent-free now. P.S. I bought some photos of the kids. What? Tearing that up, bro. Mentioning taxes? Get that out of here. I tore it up though for the achievement because why would I not? The rest of it wasn't all that interesting or difficult. Just kind of had to trial and error a couple of puzzles because I am stupid and why would I bother doing this puzzle when I could just brute force it? I'm going east. Boom. <laughs> God damn it. All right, it's this one. Oh, I'm him. Oh, and at the end of it, yo. And after all that, I find this super cool golden shovel. I cannot wait. To use this. Oh. He's given me his old one. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. But for some reason, it replaced my sword, so. Little, little, little piece of history gone. Very unfortunate. It's not gross, Matt, okay? With my new shovel, I headed straight over to the bunker to see what was inside. As I entered it, a siren started going off right away. Definitely didn't get annoying later on. It's honestly rather straightforward. Woohoo! I'm going. What? 
and I started to chase what looked like humans. After a few deaths to BS stun locks. Ow, 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 ow. Bro. Bro. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I managed to find the hair dye I needed for that very rude barber. Tore a few more pieces of paper for my 19th and 20th achievement. And this is also when some crazy ass lore started getting unveiled. Apparently like nuclear bombs had gone off and like radiated everything and the humans were like hiding in a bomb shelter and the radiation was like what made the stuff come alive and the goop was like nuclear waste. And uh, apparently a little bit of radiation leaked in and created this thing. God damn, did this boss piss me off. <clears throat> What? Liz the mutated he- Actually scary. I started with some stupid ass method where I was like lighting myself on fire and trying to burn her down and- Can I like light you on fire? By the way, every single attempt, you have to watch this stupid like 20 second cutscene and when you die 40 times like me, it does add up. And of course, during this fight, I finally discovered you could quick swap weapons, but it's honestly too late because the muscle memory for just pressing C and using the arrow keys is so ingrained, it's just honestly meaningless for me. Also, like, I'm trying to swap, and it's just like, and now I take damage, like, holy, just get me, just get me out of this game. What, what, do, what do you mean there's a key bind? Qu oh, quicks! No one told me! After like double digit tries, I finally managed to beat her just by playing like really cautious and also realizing you can break her grasp on you with the fire. Yeah, you suck. You're a noob. You're trash. You're the worst boss I've ever seen. This chat comment got to me. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I'm so triggered. Not to be rude, but why else would there be fire? I don't know. To be honest, I just didn't put two and two together. It was just like so out of the blue. It was just such a massive difficulty jump for what felt like literally no reason. After that Mickey Mouse ass boss fight, I got the laser pointer and ran off to deliver it to Mayor Onion. Laser pointer, the final piece to my master plan. You really thought I'd give you back the D to your greenhouse? What? Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You really are an idiot, just like your father. Do you even know what's under your own house? Uh, apparently not. This is pathetic. The turn of turn of Chino legacy left of this dingus. Get out of my sight. I bet this infamous old man lemon won't help you now. Wow. What a shocking betrayal. Look at all these hats, though. A knife hat. Wow. A turkey hat. Wow. An elf hat. Wow. A cupid's arrow hat. Wow. Bunny ears. Wow. Shredded tax papers. Wow. A birthday cake. Amazing. The only person I could turn to in these trying times was my old friend old man lemon he finally caught me up to date on all the family lore hey man hello chap guess it's time to tell you the truth your father don Turchino, my onion and i go way back we used to run the same crime family we were all mobsters your father was the boss i was the hitman old man onion was the consul whatever that is our society's chaotic we have no laws no one in charge it was the perfect time to take control but we had our disagreements mayor and you got filled with greed he had his own beliefs on how the town should be run he thought it was we thought he was just a bit of a quack we didn't think he would take it this far formed the government turning his back on us and dragged our names in the dirt why is he british i don't know he wanted <laughs> he wanted what we have in our base below weapons wealth you name it you name it we had it i believe that he would go to great lengths i always thought that your father's death was suspicious you thought this was about your greenhouse sunny there's a massive base under it you must go now sneak in at the female onion there's not much time you can use my secret hatch below this tree but be quick before i embarked on my journey to defeat mayor onion i decided to do one last mission just to snag myself one more life fruit then i descended oh that that's how mysterious mafia base it's quite a silly dungeon requiring all my abilities and stuff to get through. And while descending, I find a few interesting things. The main one being a straight up nuclear bomb. Oh, a bomb? According to our research, whatever lived on this planet before us were destroyed by these devices. We need to dismantle this if we want to protect our future. I'll have Onion do it. Onion did not dismantle it. Let's see if we can blow this up. Okay, lesson learned. Nice, got an achievement. After that, I tore up a heartfelt letter from my dad <laughs> and faced the final threat down. My surviving son, if you're reading this, I've probably been rotten for a while now. I've left the estate to you, but I fear Mayor Onion's retaliation. Please do protect yourself and turn to Chino land. It's all up to you now. Sorry I couldn't be there to witness your second leap or once you held your first watering can. I'll miss you, son. You'll be the biggest gangster of us all. I know you'll make the Turpin Chino name, name proud. Please destroy this letter. I don't want the IRS to see this. Okay, understood. Ripped up the letter from my dad. All right, boss fight time. You think you're a wise guy, huh? How did you get in here so fast? Whack him, you idiot radishes. What the? You stupid baba goonish. That's assault and battery. That's it. I'm sick of your garbage. You'll be sleeping with the rotten tonight. 
Corrupt political power transform. What is this game has lost the script like a long time ago. I can't even lie. Corrupt onion went mad with power. Once I learned that I pretty much just needed to wait for him to do his fork attack, dodge to the side, and I could get a bunch of free hits in. It was light work. Not too bad, actually. First two tries were kind of flukes. It's basically first try because I'm coping. That's why, to be honest. How could this happen? How was I bested by the son of my rival? You might have defeated me, but my government will live on through the documents you missed. Ahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
surprisingly easy boss fight literally just have to talk to three people didn't even get an achievement for it so kind of a waste next i was back over the cap for another hint meow 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 seek a hat from a florist took me a couple seconds to find the florist but i got to it in the end oh you delivered it sweet thanks a lot take this as payment Oh, gotcha, a sun hat. Arch nemesis of the sun, that's pretty true. Next, I reconnected the destroyed potato with his father, who's over at that camp in the spooky little place. Get, I swear if you're just yanking my chain, I love that expression. What does LeBro want from me? Go to Pops? What? You found my son Totes? Do you know where he is? That's incredible. He even sent the letter? Let me see. Holy mush. It really is him. Here, can you take this to my boy? Thank you, Sonny. Come back after it's delivered and I'll reward you for your troubles. God damn it, I have to run all the way there and back again. This is actually a nice hat. I, I do like the birdie. Here you go, Sonny. Oh, we're just dot dot dotting. It really is him. I thought he was dead. Thanks, kid. You're not half bad. Take this. A bird hat. Oh, that's kind of cute. A little birdie. But it wasn't all, because the father would also have a hat for me, and it turned out to be the last hat I needed. Thank you for delivering my letter, Sonny. Hopefully, Tots will come visit his old man soon. I'd like you to have this. A farmer's hat. Oh, you found all the hats. Fashionista. And after that, the cat sadly vanished, but gave me a life fruit for her troubles. Which is weird, because I should give her something, honestly, because she was helpful to me. But whatever, we take it, because it was the last heart I needed for another achievement. I momentarily forgot how to swap my items. <laughs> Ooh, you grow the heart fruit. 33. Come back. Kitty, no. <laughs> He's gone. Like I said, I was sad the kitty was gone, but you know, 33 out of 37 achievements, pretty good. And the place I was gonna get most of the rest of them was on this train. It's basically like a boss rush train. So I just went through it a couple of times. It's just basically combat. The combat isn't that good in this game. So DLDR, it put me at 35 out of 37 achievements. Out of the last two, one of them was super easy because it was literally just a little bit past the barn. Pick up a trophy. Oh wait, how did I not see this? Reward the player so they stay engaged. That's awkward, that's the second last achievement I got. No idea how I missed this one. And the last achievement, I recorded offline because I'd have been streaming for four hours. However, I accidentally recorded a black screen. 37, let's go. If you enjoyed watching this video, you will 100% see what I did there. Enjoy watching this video on screens. Go ahead and click it. You'll have a good time, I promise.